Hey everybody, it's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Well, for some of you, yeah, you've been in FLL long enough to remember Nature's Fury. Um, nope, wasn't doing FLL when this actually was uh, one of our board challenges, but I did pick it up just because I really thought it was intriguing, the missions. So this video is really not about Nature's Fury, but about the medium motor. Um, some of you have been asking about the medium motor and incorporating it into an FLL mission. Um, so I just want to do a quick video just to show you what actually kind of maybe a reminiscing for some of you that have done this before. Yeah, there's some things missing. I, I purposely don't put it out um, just because I don't want the students messing with it. But um, just the medium motor and to show you what it can do in certain situations. And yeah, maybe some of you can um, reminisce like, oh yeah, I remember that mission um, using the medium motor. So this one right here. I do have my Sirius robot with the uh, medium motor here on the front. And then what I want to do is just show you real quick, um, I'll show you this on the programming, um, but just a mission that it can do. This was the tsunami mission where you're uh, lifting up this red lever and it causes the tsunami rolls to come off. But you'll see the medium motor and then I'll show you in the program how we incorporate that. So let me just show you it real quick. and it lifts them off, the tsunami rolls come off there. Uh, I believe that was 20 points in that during that year for that competition. So that's just another um, one use of the medium motor. Um, let me go ahead and show you uh, for these animals how we can do this medium motor. Okay everybody, we got our dog back to base. Um, we wanna get the extra 15 points so we can get 30 for putting it in that square. So we need to get that cat. Um, using the same program, had to lengthen the uh, program a little bit because the cat's a little farther. Uh, you might also notice how narrow um, these beams are. If I want to increase the chance of trapping it and getting whatever I'm, I'm trying to get, I could use a longer axle or rod and make that a little wider, but for now, this is going to be good. And let's go ahead and go get this cat. We are back in the base. All right, so there's again another example of where we can reverse the medium motor, have it come down and trap something. And that would have been a lot better than trying to, if you notice here, like before what we did, it would be a lot easier to trap that the way it was than to try to get it right inside of here and lift it. So you'll just have to be wise in how you might pull something up or grab it down. Um, just for the sake of being consistent and having it work out. Okay, so for this one here, I actually took the uh, beams here and I flipped them the other way. If you remember uh, from that year, um, we retrieved these animals, and if you put them into a uh, square with people, there should be a mini fig right there, but like I said, I don't leave those things out. Um, what we'll do is we'll retrieve, um, I'll go for this dog first, and then we would eventually just push it into that square for points. I think it was 15 points each. But I want to show you here where we can reverse uh, the program here and have the motor actually come down. I'll show you how that changes in the program. Um, the only thing you want to be careful of is you don't go down too far because what can ha happen is this can go so far down that it actually pushes your robot up and there's no traction for the wheels to come back. So you really want to time it out so that this can come down, but not necessarily lift your robot up so it can't bring it back. So this one here, what you'll watch is that this robot will come over here. The motor will come down on this dog and then pull it back. So let me go to that one. And then we can trap it like that and then bring it back. And then you know, we would take that to the square uh, to get our points. But there's just another way of showing you that the medium motor can be reversed instead of coming up, can come down, used to trap things like that. Okay, everybody, I'm on my Lego Mindstorms uh, EV3 software here. Um, let me go ahead and just show you, this is just kind of part of the program that I've had um, for each of those missions that I'm going to show you or did show you. 
Um, so here we go. It's just a move tank block right here. I'll just go, I'll do this uh, slowly so you can see it. Right here, the move tank. And I put that here. Uh, the reason why you see it's negative is um, I have the serious robot, so the motors are actually upside down, which makes everything backwards. So basically for me, a negative would be a forward. Um, I did degrees. Um, I don't know what your uh, choice is for rotations, degrees, or time. Um, but then the medium motor, the block, is right here. And then definitely make sure it's plugged into the right port. Um, this actually was set on for time. Um, that first one where I did the tsunami, I believe I had set that for four seconds. Um, you can set your speed, how fast you want it right here. And then I just basically copied the third block. Uh, that's the same thing as the first block, except I made the motors coming back a little faster. And again, they're different. If I want to come backwards, I'm going to make those positives so it comes back. So this is basically the program I did for the tsunami and the animals. And every, anything that changes would just be right here with degrees. If it's farther, I need to make this number bigger. But the media motor is right here, and you will have to adjust your media motor. Um, if you put your media motor on uh, upside down, then this would end up being a negative. Um, so you'll have to play around with it to see if the media motor is going up or down the way you want it. But this is basically the, all, all the program that I did for that tsunami and the animals mission. And then obviously when I do the... Uh, pushing the animals into the uh, orange square, then I would just delete that. And then this pushes me there and this gets me back. So hopefully that was helpful for those of you that have been asking about putting the media motor into your FLL programs. It's, it's just one of those things where you have to find your niche. Do you like time, rotations, degrees? And once you get your niche, it's going to be easy to just do mission after mission. Um, doing you know incorporating all these blocks into your program all right guys hopefully that was helpful um let's go back to the board so you can see me push those animals uh, into the orange square okay guys i didn't want to leave you hanging and get those animals and not show you that we can put them into this orange square um, i did just take the medium motor block out didn't need it we just need a forward to push them in there and come back so let's get these 30 points Yeah, so they're in there. So those of you that remember Nature's Fury gave you a little flashback to the past here. Uh, but today was just about this medium motor um, doing its job, getting your team points uh, either by lifting up, coming down, or, or maybe even spinning. So spinning will be a different video, guys. For today, it was just a, a simple basic how do you incorporate this into your program. So I thought that that was a good thing for some of you to see. Um, I'm, out, I'm that's all I'm about guys I'm done I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics I am out